welcome to Workshop Wednesday, where we take you into our workshop once a week. I'm Steph. And I'm Vicki. And we're in Tallahassee, Florida. We want to know where you're viewing from. Let us know in the comments below. This week, we were working on a project in Steph's studio. We're making it into a more functional space. Uh, not only do we want the studio part, but we also want to make it into a mini guest room. So we're making a bed in a box. <laughs> that sounds interesting, doesn't it? <laughs> and you don't sleep in the box. That we will tell you that <laughs> we will be posting that project in a couple weeks we're looking at the wood right here so right now it's just two it's sheets, just two of, sheets plywood. of plywood that's right um but it's gonna be more very well, we, soon at, we are in the garage in the last couple of weeks we've been working on the metal pin board right behind us we put these um crates down below mm -hmm. right below this workbench and we lived with them for a while and thought mm, they look a little messy so in today's fast diy stuff is going to do something about it we are going to make some tops for those crates so we have five crates and we're going to make some quick fast tops for them so let's get started the wood we're using here is really inexpensive. It's a one by two, eight foot board, and it's called a furring strip, and it's under $2 for each one. And we're gonna use about one and a half to make one top. The first step is we did just a little sanding because they're a little rough to start. For each top, we need six pieces of wood, and we're cutting those at 18 inches. And we're using a miter saw here, but you could easily use a miter box with a handsaw. Now we're gonna cut the cross sections. Right here, you can see that I created a stop block, which is basically a place on my miter saw where I know where to put the wood and when I cut there, they'll all be the same length. We decided to finish these off with Danish oil just to give it a little bit darker feel. Then we laid six strips on top of one of our crates, just eyeballed the spacing and put the two cross pieces on the back. Then we marked where the cross piece was gonna lay, lifted that up and we're using wood hot glue to attach these. And we're using our trusty vintage iron weights to hold it in place while it dries. Then we added a couple brad nails. And here they are, all finished. You can see the before and after. It really gives a nice, clean look, and we could even use them as another storage location. Now, if you've done any DIYing for any length of time, you know DIYing is not always the le least expensive option, but in this case, it is. One of these lids that we saw at Joann's was $13, and we spent about $13 for all five of these, so in this case, DIYing <laughs> is the least expensive option. Now that we got my garage all cleaned up, Mom's gonna head to her house and show you one of her unexpected new favorite things. <laughs> Welcome to another edition of Favorite Things. Now I'm standing in my garage and I'm holding, yeah, a broom, but not just any kind of broom. Now I originally got this broom to get stuff off my roof and it just didn't work. And uh, we missed the opportunity to send it back, so we have this broom. And I thought, what am I gonna do with that broom? We really don't need another broom, but maybe we do. Now we installed this flooring um, a little over, um, less than a year ago. And we realized that the way this broom is curved, that it's actually perfect for sweeping things off of this floor. So let me just give you a little demo here. Because the design of this floor is not perfectly flat, a lot of dirt gets between the little circles. And the unique design of this broom gets that dirt out very easily. On Monday, we asked you guys what outdoor tool attachment you wanted to see a closer look at. And you guys overwhelmingly said the sweeper. So, here Bring it, it on is. in, Mom. <laughs> it's a big end. This is the sweeper, and it actually attaches to the Ryobi Expandit power head right here, which is a whole line of outdoor tools they have. Mom, you gotta tell us about this, because this is like your new favorite. <laughs> it is my new favorite thing. This is one of the attachments for the Ryobi Expanded system. It is their sweeper, and I was um, just intrigued with this and thought it would be the perfect thing to use on my driveway that has all this dirt that just collects because that's the way the water drains. So I thought, you know, this may be the perfect thing to take care of that, because I, no amount of blowing is gonna, get, is gonna move that dirt. So I got a chance to try that, we first tried it in Steph's backyard. As you can see, it's exposing that that garden path is actually bricks, but it loosens up all of that caked in dirt and rocks and just sweeps it away. And then you could just follow it with a, a blower. Once I saw that it worked, I took it to my house and I first tried blowing away the sand. Now this is that corner where all of that sand just collects and no amount of blowing is gonna work. Popped in the battery, which is 40 volts, and I just pushed it along the seam where the dirt was collecting, and it just pushes it away, loosens it up, and you see it does a really amazing job. One of the nice things about that is you can get fairly close to like that edging right there, and that also will push away the dirt. 
So once you've done that and gotten all loosened up, then you can get your blower and just blow the rest of it out of the way. And it does a great job getting rid of that caked in dirt. A couple months back, we actually showed three other attachments for this Ryobi Expanded system. And we also showed a way to organize and store this in the garage. I'm actually looking at it right here. It's across from us. So we'll put a link to that project. And in the probably in the next couple weeks, we're going to add a special spot for this because this is new to us. So it's new to us. We need to uh, get it organized as well. We appreciate you joining us. And as always, we'd love it for you to comment on our post and share it with your friends. And we will see you again next time. Thanks for joining us. Bye.